Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dungeon Mechanics. We are here with another exciting episode of Fate of Ukador. And uh, we have a bit of a recap to do since the smidgen. last episode. Sorry, I have to fix. Uh... <laughs> oh, I forgot Colin's gimmick. I love it. Keep it up, buddy. I have to fix Ashley. There, What's you're centered. Wrong with me? You're centered. It was bugging me. Okay. <laughs> oh, Brolin. Wearing a green shirt on a green screen. I didn't think about that. It's not picking it up though. I mean. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> uh, so, no. recap. In the last episode, our <laughs> heroes were faced with <sighs> hanging out at a campsite after just reviving Cinder, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That's a long... That, they, that you're starting... Like, there's a lot between... Go ahead. We did a lot in well, one episode. Started. Like, that's where the episode started. I'll start it at the campsite. Um, mm. And as y'all were settling down to try and bunker down for whatever it was, um... Nisea was able to have a nice time with the the lovely bard, and she found that she has uh, magic through some facet that has happened as of late. Uh, perchance it be from all of the events that have kind of stacked up on top of one another, but um, she has definitely uh, exhibited magical capabilities now and then things got weird as Cinder decided to send sendings to flint who by the way in the previous episode had just made it to the future so she gets a future message and it's like a back and forth you know how they are and yeah maybe you forgot wow. There is a back and forth conversation of how Cinder needs to get to the future and that Flint isn't safe by herself. And then as things are, Flint was able to get a uh, capsule back to the past through some means. And as the capsule appeared, Cinder took it and drank it much to brolin's uh dismay uh he did not like that i did that as he tried to stop cinder he wasn't able to fast enough because that's how the dice rolled and in a last ditch effort they both heard cindy windy from a much uh out of commission angel before everything turned white and time fast forwarded or maybe it was the same time but flint in her vehicle uh now had two extra passengers to join her and smudgy um as Raider. cinder and brolin both appear in the back seat uh they are quickly up or updated of the fact that flint needs to go help her friend pepper and also the guardian who seems to be in trouble as of late. They make it back to the, we'll just say hideout place, the Arbiter building and gear up for what is hopefully a quick in and out mission. But before that happens on one of the monitor screens, uh, an image of a person by the name of Jossie appears and informs Flint that she wasn't expecting her to be where she was currently. And as things get a little bit weird, they come to find that not only does Heege Industries have the Guardian and Pepper, but as a green glowing eyed figure none other than Nasea appears in the background they realize that they too have captured their friend 
So they get more guns and then they get into the vehicle and speed off. And that's where we're starting things off today. But before we do that, we're going to run that trailer again because it's been a hot minute. Been the a trailer while. back. The famous trailer. When we come back, it's going to happen. We're going to we're going to start. OK, don't go anywhere. I always wear white. I know, that's probably what do it is. Do you always wear white? Is that white? Oh I my gosh. I do. That's what it is. Hi. Hi, Hi. everybody. Are we back? Yeah. yeah. We are back. <laughs> this, is back to this is the pink salute. fix. This is the pink fix. This is the pink fix. This is the pink This is the pink fix. This is how I'm going to play the game. I'm sure doing this is offensive in at least 17 different militaries. Probably. As long oh, as you don't call it an actual 17. salute, I won't cringe. I'm not. <laughs> I am not in the military, so I don't care. <laughs> as <laughs> the group of you are speeding off towards the heat industries, it's let's the page. It's the page. rewind time just a slight Ooh, bit. Rewinding time? What? No. <laughs> yeah, let's Actually, go back to like what happened. What would happen if I do this? the moment um some arbiters decided to go back to the future so as we all know there's time blips that happen as time sort of tries to correct itself when certain events take place. And Nasea, as yourself, you find you're just hanging out with Nadir when a bright light sort of encompasses <laughs> your entire vision and just when you can't see anything, it fades, and you look around, and Zendair and Brolin are nowhere to be found. He gets. What was that bright light for? I don't know. And then uh, just kind of look around. 
Where, where are the uh, other two? They, they were just over there talking, I think. We're... I don't know. Brolin? Cinder? Brolin? Uh, Nadir starts to get up and starts to look around the area, still rubbing his eyes, wincing a bit. Because it was really bright. Like, imagine nighttime and then... Out of nowhere, someone's just like, fog lights! Well, bright lights, headlights, are probably brighter than fog lights. Anyways, uh, as he gets up to start looking around, Nisea, you start to hear something. Can I tell what direction it's coming from? Uh, make a perception check. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not ready for the trauma. 11. Oh, yeah, he's not going to wait. Of course not. I had months gonna... to prepare for trauma. <laughs> Y'all should have got He's going to get me first. <laughs> uh, what was your, sorry. I was just. It was an 11. <laughs> nice. Um. Is it? It, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think it's nice. Um, you first think it's like to your left, and then it sounds like it's coming from behind you. And after a bit, you realize it's like inaudible whispers coming from all different directions. And almost instinctively, like the nerves in your entire body go on defense and you realize that something's not right you can't put your finger on it but like something's not right you have a brief moment to try and do something um i'm gonna yell for um nadir Something's not right. Something's not right. Just a moment. Uh, I think I see something over here. Um, she's gonna she's gonna hurry in his direction. Okay. Um. As you start to get closer, um, also. I have to like remember names again. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. Sir uh Sir Derek uh Ooh, Sir Derek. gets up from his kind of like cuz he had bedded the horses down, doffed off his armor and was like getting ready for bed to take up like a a further shift, but hearing all of this commotion, he gets up uh is there the problem uh Nasea? It's just something feels off. Nadia, what did you find? I don't hear anything. Nadia? What? What is that? What's what? I can sense something. It's almost fiendish. Fiendish? Fiendish how? Fiendish as in fiends? I don't know how else to describe them, really. Well, can you tell if there's actually fiends around? 
I will do my best. <laughs> he starts to like peruse. <laughs> I don't know, maybe detect evil. You see his <laughs> eyes like shift well, color sense, uh, and gold uh, overlays kind of glisten over his eyes as he sends out a, a pulse. I wonder why they didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who? Sir Derek and Derek and the say aren't a thing. It's really hard to keep up. I'm she sorry. She stays away Sayer. from the. There's pretty, so many the suitors. Paladin so boys. many. I didn't even think learning a name was really a prerequisite. Stack. So you expect us to remember all of them? Well, he makes them all memorable. Did you name Sir Derek after my ex? What? Because that's, 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 <laughs> The way that uh What? That would be such a deep cut. <laughs> the way yeah. that Colin or Jax is not just out to Trump. <laughs> I've done my research. I got the receipts here. I mean uh, wow. No, Bro I, I did not know. Spelled it. <laughs> There's no characters named Maddie or Michelle, so I think I'm safe. For now. Uh ten episodes left. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He now knows he's writing that down. Don't think he'd have him dying. After uh, a bit, um, Sir Derek comes back and it's definitely fiendish. Do you have your weapon? Yes, of course I have my weapon. And she just like pulls out her ax. Um, and she's got that loot now like strapped onto her back. <laughs> Where, where are the others? I... I don't know. They... They... There was a light, and then they just... Vanished, I suppose. And Nadir, I don't know where he's gone. Well... Stay on guard, we'll... Survey the area. I'll go check on Diora and the others. Um, try and locate Nadir. And You're so not leaving me. I'll literally just be 50 paces that yeah. way. Yeah, and Nadir was 10 paces that way. And Fine. he's gone now. We will go together. Yeah. Yeah, we will. So you head in the direction of uh, where you last saw, heard Nadir. <clears throat> um, you go through a clearing of bushes and you see like shadows, but it's kind of dark and also light at the same time, uh, make a perception check. Dark, but light at the same time. Don't like that. Oh, nope, that was a nine. <laughs> uh, She's very perceptive right now. I would say you could do it with um, advantage because well, maybe Derek's also... Let me just roll through it on my desk that nope. Nope, that was a ten. Was a nice! Eight. Okay. <laughs> you have okay. to get closer. Oh my gosh. Okay. As you get closer, uh the the shadows kind of play and flicker and you see a figure in them. Uh and at the base there is Amber's like flickering and the ground seems to be almost cracking underneath and once your eyes draw up taking that last step you see Nadir his entire body encapsulated with this shadow eyes pitch black 
non-moving. And then the ground cracks open. Nadir's body starts to fall in. His body? Yes. It's very specific. Well, <laughs> it was his body above the crack, so yeah, it's very specific. But you could just Him. say, like, Nadir, you just... You just Nadir <laughs> falls <laughs> into the car. Honest, formerly known Where's as Nadir. <laughs> That's Where what I want to know. I don't know if you're soul? Nadir's soul? That's the yeah. last thing you should be worrying about, a bard's soul. <laughs> Semantics. Um, His body's falling in, but where's his spirit? That's what I want to know. Sex acts like I'm not the one that makes the rules when you're the one <laughs> orchestrating all this. All right. Um, well, clearly, yeah, obviously, like Nasea is upset and worried. Um, it, so his body is like falling into the cracks. Like, how big are the cracks? Are we like, how big are we talking here? Like, oh, uh, they're progressively getting bigger and kind of fissuring outward towards you and the campsite. Um, so this is, um, let me think, let me put myself in her situation real quick. So this is her ex-lover, like, sh there's still some feels there a little bit, like, even though she denies it, like, obviously, like, there's still some feels there. She loves him. She loves him. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna just rush over, um, and I'm gonna try to like tackle his body out of the air, and try to like stop him from going down that hole. Nice. Uh, roll me an athletics check. All right, baby, come on. You got this, barbarian. Barbarian. It's a seventeen. Nice. Um... <laughs> it was that. It was it. Sir Derek watches <laughs> as you like sprint off almost without thinking, just instinctual in a way. Uh, you grab at Nadir's body, and as you hold him, um, pulling him away from this like fissure, kind of like pulling him and also trying to gain footing away as the fissures are like breaching out, um, <clears throat> you see that this, this darkness has like infected into like his vein structure you can see like black veins around his neck mm -hmm. um i feel like i feel like i've seen this and before. then something like this there's a intense heat as something seems to be crawling out of the fissure Uh, so N or, uh, Nadir is just, like, unresponsive? Yes. I mean, for all intents and purposes, he looks to be dead. You don't see any responsiveness, uh, as you hold his body. It's shockingly cold for the amount of time that it's been since you last saw him. What's the what's a what's Sir Derek doing? He has his hand on his uh, sword, and he like he has you clocked like where you're at position wise, but his attention is definitely focused on whatever it is that's coming out of the ground. Okay, um, <clears throat> Sir Derek, Nadir is not responding. You need to help him. Uh, yes, of course. And he comes over to you, uh, starts to pick Nadir uh, up away from you. And you hear a guttural laugh, grunting, as this hand much larger than what you would imagine 
comes out of that fissure, claps on the ground, digs its fingernails into the earth. <laughs> she actually did it. Ah, to be free again. Mm. I will lay waste to every last living thing here. <laughs> well, Nisea is going to pick up her axe. And she's going to like... I have no choice. Uh, so she's going to stand okay. ready to fight this thing. As you see this creature come out, large horns, much similar to uh, uh, a party member's horn mm -hmm, type. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, you know, I figured. Mm -mm. You know, I figured. Mm -hmm. I figured. <laughs> Except, <laughs> unlike the the caring and expressions that you see or have experienced when you're around Flint, this is just cold and methodical as whoever this is comes out and takes freeing steps on the land of Ukador once more. <laughs> she actually did it. And to think, I thought she would be completely useless. Hmm. Oh. What do we have here? And he looks over at you and Sir Derek kind of like trying his best to keep Nadir away from whatever it is that could potentially cause more damage than has already taken place. <clears throat> Who are you? What do you call yourself? My name? <clears throat> you want to know my name? And who are you to ask this of me? I'm Nisea Leah, the Princess of Dawn. <laughs> Dawn, you say? Where is that? She's gonna rage. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> uh, yes, as you rage, you feel that uh, instinctual just might fill your body, fill your veins. I'm gonna send you back to hell. <laughs> She's gonna like get ready to go. <laughs> okay. Swing for an attack. Okay. I know that this is not gonna end well for me, but Nah, it's good. You're gonna um, look really cool doing it though. I am gonna look really fucking good doing it. Uh Alright, I'm just gonna run at him. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, 17? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, you go swinging in fiercely, uh, and he kind of almost uh, shift shimmers <clears throat> to the left a little bit. <sighs> Is that the best you have? Oh, was that his move? Do I get to go again? <laughs> <sighs> My turn. And he looks <laughs> behind yeah. you. I teleported. And uh, shifts his uh, wrist a bit. And you watch as his eyes, two dark pitted embers, catch flame. And you hear this blood curdling yell coming from behind you. Ah! 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 Uh -oh. 
And you look, and Sir Derek is completely engulfed in flame. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh... Fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. What did you do? Oh, like, what did you do? Uh... Sindar and Derek were good friends. How do I put out the fire? <laughs> Only was training me. We shouldn't start the fire. <laughs> All right, <laughs> okay. Um, hang on. Is he on shadow right now? <laughs> Who? Sir Derek, wasn't that his horse? That was his horse, yeah. That is his horse. Yeah, shadow He's not on shadow. Shadow's, Shadow's still at the camp, at right? The camp. Oh yeah, shadows. Okay, shadows, shadows gonna outlive us all. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Lone shadow. That horse will live wild and anything. free in about two minutes. We don't remember anything. It's been so long since we played, but we remember exactly where Shadow is. Good yeah. job. Good job. Priorities. <laughs> oh yeah. I need to put him out. I need to put him out. Uh, make a either insight check or survival <laughs> or. Perception. <laughs> You're good right. at one of those. You did just that. You you always roll higher perception than me. I'm gonna like and I'm the cleric. Intimidate the goddamn fire out. Like, <laughs> uh, perception. You said I could do perception. Yeah, yeah. Perception. Uh oh. Oh, I did an insight check for thirteen. Okay, um, as you're looking at Sir Derek, you know, on fire, uh, you grunt and kind of like push him into the ground. Uh, his body like hits to the dirt um, and you start to like see if you can pat it out by like kicking dirt on it, <laughs> but it doesn't oh, seem no. like it's helping. Oh God, this is fucking like <laughs> abnormal fire. Yes. That's like, this is fucking hellfire. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Um, what is this, water? I want to... Oh, hang on. Uh, from Humpback at Notre Dame stuck in my head. Just like, you know? You know, I've never, I've never had that. I can't, I can't say I've never experienced that. I've never experienced any song from Notre Dame being stuck in my head. Actually, really, and it's really epic. It's like the one that the priest guy sees. He's like, uh -huh. Hell fire! Hell you know? fire! Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm gonna channel some of my new yes. uh, bard abilities. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on him. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to give him bardic inspiration by saying, like, Sir Derek, this is Hellfire. You are a, you're a paladin. You need to put it out. You just hear a grumbled, Run, Nasea. No! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, just on cue, it would seem. <laughs> so As you uh, bardically inspire and try and cure Sir Derek, you watch as trees start to distort and snap and break and twist. And you look off in the distance as large clouds start to rapidly warp the area around you. <laughs> Your what you friends just traveled through time on their own dime, it would seem. Hmm. It would seem that they didn't care about you. They but wouldn't it's do fine. that. Really? Really? Do you know who your friends are now? Nisea Leah of Dawn? They're in the future. And you see this? 
This is mm. future correcting itself. Um, she's gonna kind of look out at it. Um, no, you're doing this. <laughs> you're doing this. This is all this is just I a needed trick. her to do was bring me back the amulet, and she served it up to me, thinking I was doing her a favor. <laughs> and then she went back to the future, completing the circle. Do you mean Flint? Yes. She is my daughter. So you're the father. You are the father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that too. You are not the father. Arch devil, you are the father. <laughs> So you're the father. Ah. In a matter of terms. Wouldn't say I was much of a father for her. Now oh, this can't be right. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do this. They know. They know the repercussions. <laughs> they do, and they did. Otherwise, I would not be standing here. And what are you going to do? If this... If this is what happens to our world, then what are you going to do about it? I will start a hellscape. I'll start with that crater back there. Seems like a opportune place to build a fortress. She's gonna she's gonna chuck her javelin at him. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Get him. She's just gonna chuck it. Oh wait a minute, I'm raging. I'm just talking to you. Gosh. <laughs> I'm talking here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this javelin at him. Uh, 20. Uh, you watch as the javelin pierces and <laughs> hits right into his chest. Roll damage. Sure. Yeah, let me scratch ya. <laughs> let me scratch 11 you. points, 11 points. <laughs> that's good, that's good javelin damage. Um. As you hit into him, his blood spurters a bit, and as it contacts the ground, enraging, catches the bit of grass on fire and flame, licks. Ah, am I making you angry? To have what do lost you think? everything, to continue to lose everything and nothing that you can do to fix it it's gonna chuck the other javelin at him <laughs> somewhere brolin's just like this was like have a conversation with her it was a 14. <laughs> it uh it um clears past his uh right shoulder and get sucked up into that vortex that's whirling Jeez, behind you. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who thought of this? Somebody who needs a hug. That's who thought of this. Hmm. Stacks. <laughs> I don't need a hug. <laughs> Um, man, wish I could do something really cool. Wish I could do something really cool right now, but I. Any last words? I don't think I can. 
Yeah. Go to hell. <laughs> and you watch as that recorrection starts to rapidly engage, swirling around just the four of you, technically. Um, as you try and look past, there is nothing. There's no forest. There's no camp. There's nothing um, salvageable that you can see. And then you see green, the shimmer of it, flicker at first. It would appear we're not alone. What is that? He kind of leans in. <sighs> there might be some use for you yet. And kind of shimmers in his visage, vanishes before you. And as you're standing there in contemplation and bewilderment, you watch as a portion of the recorrection parts and this figure swoops down and lands in front of you. Hello, daughter. Mother. And that's where we fast forward to the future. <laughs> All right. All right. Flint, you're speeding. Okay. <laughs> <God. laughs> <laughs> oh. <Choo -choo. What? laughs> well, you guys. Gang, I'm feeling really guilty about <laughs> leaving uh, Nasea behind now. Especially no, because uh, oh no, <laughs> it's a problem. As I sip my tea, Jesus. I bet she's. <laughs> do we? We've seen her. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem great, huh? No, not at all. Um, what do we? Okay, on a scale of one to ten. Will each of us take a turn? How confident are you to take on Nasea by yourself? I'm like a six. A six? A six? I'm just saying, like I can. Okay, okay, maybe not six. Maybe I'm okay. Bottom and I'm I'm out. I'm at two. I'm honestly, I'm honestly at. I, a I could take her. You could take her, Brolin. I bet I could take her. I mean, out of all of us, you got my money. Yeah, I, your odds are probably best. Uh, so are we going to fight Pepper and the Guardian and We have to try. Nisaya? I mean, they're like mind controlled, right? Or like Right, so we got to snap them out. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't want it. We can't. Listen, we can't. Hurt, I mean, we may have to hurt them, but we can't, like, hurt them, hurt them, you know? We but, gotta snap them out of it. Okay. Are we driving right now? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Roland's having real time, like, hard time. Just, like, sliding around in the back seat. He's, like, taking in everything, like, street lights. And music is playing so loud. Like music, yeah. He is sensory. I'm just saying, order. am I going to have to fight the Guardian? You think you could take the guy? I mean, honestly, out of all of them, I don't know. I don't. Who am I going to fight if we fight them? Unless, I mean... Maybe that's the you take. I on don't know body. Pepper. I'll take on Peps and Brolin. You gotta go against Ness, and we just. How gotta... do you know where you're going? 
I don't, I, I'm, we're just getting away, right? We're just trying to. We're just going, I mean, we're going to Heej, right? Oh, yeah, that's what we're doing. That is what we're doing. Yeah, you missed the turn like three blocks back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just like into traffic, weaving in and out. Um, all right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, we do that. We distract them, but then we really got to snap them out of it. I don't, I mean, mm -hmm. I haven't really encountered much mind control stuff ever. I don't know how to do that. Do you guys know how to do that? Uh, uh well, I mean, I didn't really grow up around Matt, or I did grow up around Matt. You just gotta DM. knock him out. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, yeah, yeah we could really knock him out. If they're uh, unconscious. Or just so, hit them really, really hard. I mean, blunt trauma will knock you out. Or if right. they have, oh, check the glove compartment. I used to keep my uppers in there and I also <laughs> keep a good amount of downers. So <laughs> if we hit just the right Speak mix. Up, it's like a pharmaceutical <laughs> company. Uh, <laughs> 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 Wait, which one? Which ones? Uh, these are little pods of elixirs. Uh, you should not have one. Um, Unless you want to get real No, nope, nope. okay, bad idea. Right. Because I think with all the jostling, some of them have mixed in each other's piles. So oh. it's yeah, kind of a mixed bag them. if you reach in here. Yeah, the uppers are the little round white ones. And then like the downers are the uh, round white ones. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Does one of them specifically have a Q on it, or is that just nope? That's an M and M. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna. Yeah, maybe that's not a viable option. Okay. What uh, What was the important thing in here? No, that was it. That was what I had. Damn. Oh, you just wanted to medicate us. No, to medicate them, we gotta knock them out. I oh, so I... just overdose them. Yeah. Okay. No. If you like that, it sounds bad. No, that sounds. No, bad. We could. We, we just hit them really hard. That's the. Yeah. All right. All right. I mean, listen. Ness is hard-headed on a good day, and she seems real. Well, and I mean, if she figured out, if somebody told her that we accidentally left her in the past. How would have that, that would never happen. That could not okay. happen. Okay, but let me, no let me, let me throw out a scenario for you. Um, she wasn't even looking. She was just over with Nadir. And I was talking to Brolin and I didn't think everything was going to happen so fast. And then everything started happening. And next thing I know, Brolin, for some reason, didn't stop me. But I drank the vial. And I, I was expecting it to just take me. But it took me and Brolin. So you... Uh, Sin, I, I, I feel like you're overlooking your own responsibility just because someone doesn't again just because someone doesn't stop you from doing the bad thing doesn't mean you didn't do the bad thing i'm just saying was it a bad thing because i was fully expecting that brolin was going to get his own stuff and he would i was past listen i didn't want any responsibility i just i yes okay my fault i dropped the ball gang it's fine. We're all dropping balls all over the place, and we're tripping over them, and it's all getting a little crazy. But you know what? We're just going to go knock out our friends and family. We're going to save them from being mind-controlled, and we're going to put a big old Band-Aid on the whole time flux situation we created. Mm -hmm. It's not that hard. Mm -hmm. it's I mean, not that it's, hard. I feel like anyone expecting any of us to have control of anything that's happened in the last couple hours... Nothing's been under our control. Whether we did something on purpose or not, the outcomes have been dramatic and huge. And we're here now. We need to get back there. Right. So let's get done so we can get back there. And then we'll figure out how we explain that we did something that caused some big thing because that's all we've done in the last 12 hours. 
Right. Just mix um, it in the pot. Everything that happened, happened. Once we get back there, we'll go from there. Right. Yeah. Right. And, you know, honestly, they're going to be so thankful that we saved them from the whole mind control thing. I bet I they're not even going to ask. I bet they're not even going to ask how they got here. Or what I happened. bet. They're First gonna... thing out of Nisea's mouth is, why did you leave me? Guarantee it. Right now, I will put... I will put 50 gold on that. 50 gold. It's not even useful currency in this time, but I will put 50 gold down for this. Well, you know what? I will... I'm not going to take that bet, actually. I just reached into my pocket, and I'm not going to take that bet. <laughs> what does Brolin have? <laughs> that's, I have exactly 50, and that's it, and I'm not going to... I could take that bet. <laughs> no, I bet the... Um... But the first thing oh, she says man. is, Roland, it's we're so happy to see you. I missed you. Big hug. You know. Does she's normally like that with you, or? To be honest, I mean. Are we talking about the same Nisea? Like, I'm the princess. Uh. Sounds nothing like Oh, this. you're right. You're right. Nope. Nope. Didn't like that as soon as I started saying it. No, uh, Nisea is... I'm not going to say she's mean. But she certainly likes to call people out when they're making mistakes. And I've made a lot of mistakes. Yeah, that's not mean. That's just honest, you know? And sometimes honesty hurts. And honesty especially hurts when it's come out of, coming out of Ness's face. Uh, so maybe that is just... We, we got to be prepared to hit with that. And also, her big fist and her big weapons. And her big oh, axe? She's got a big axe. Okay, bro, and you've got to... I can't take her. I've got, I can't take her at all. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't think I have the uh, constitution to take her. Uh, I'm not good in the hit point department compared to you two. <laughs> like, you... <laughs> Not not good over here. So I'll take the guardian because he's uh hopefully old mm -hmm. and weak due to inactivity. Due to inactivity. All right, all right. We'll oh see. We just gotta get so we get in there. We distract. Oh right, and then there's like that the 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 the, the lady who's like doing the whole thing. We right. We gotta like take her out. Which her we can like really hurt with like. That was Joss. Is that Joss? Jossie. 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 We take her out. We feel no guilt. We... Right. She's... Bad. She said she caused everything, didn't she? It's like, I'm so... Yes. And I'm like, oh? You know? Like, oh? But like, what's a Jossie? Like, who does she think she is? Right. Like, we have... I think we've made plenty of enemies. And now we've got... You know, we're gonna... But, you know... So how we make this up to Nisea is we serve up on a silver platter the person who caused the crater in Dorne. Oh my god, that's such a good idea. She's gonna Wait, walk. isn't that isn't that Flint's dad? What? No, he's never done something bad in his life. He was just like he's But he did some evil things to get you. What I, he just wanted to see me. Listen. What father wouldn't go to great lengths for their daughter, you know? Like, he hasn't... But he's right. just been, like, trapped and stuff. He's still trapped. He can't do anything. He's harmless. What do you mean, trapped? Oh, no, that he's, like, trapped in a hell dimension for doing... Oh, no, for doing some atrocities. But he's never really gone into those and what they were, so... So they're know. probably pretty bad. Well, as far as I know, maybe, but people get offended by different things, you know? Like, maybe right. he crossed the so street. You, so your and argument like is that people are snowflakes? Is that your argument, Flint? That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth on this platform that's going to go out in the world and live there with my name on it. Don't put words in my mouth, Jacob. <laughs> 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 yeah. Not real. So, uh, so are y'all so, close to each, or is this like a cruise control heege trip? 
Oh, we're like speed. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, we're probably pulling up pretty soon. So we have kind. We have a plan. We don't have a plan. But... We don't. We're just gonna walk in and be like, "Uh, we would like to meet with Jossie." I. She has something that belongs to us, and if they uh, don't let us, um, we cause a ruckus. Now, magically, I can't cause a ruckus because. That's what can. No I was hoping we could get like a, a recap on the condition, right? Because I'm pretty sure. I don't have my shield. Pretty sure, because yeah, the magic like too of my heavy. it's too heavy. That magic, if the magic of my armor is not working, so I think I'm in like street clothes. You were really all in street clothes. Shirt. You got in a frilly tuxedo shirt, and I think like right. overalls or something. You put on the most That's buck great. wild outfit, and Sweet. it was beautiful. And I'm dressed like a youth shield. pastor. I, I do have I... a shield. I have Galileo shield. I and I think that. I talked you into letting me have like two hand grenades. <laughs> I think I have smoke grenades as well. But I don't. We have, I have a whole have a arsenal in the trunk. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. So we're just gonna we're just gonna pull up and load up and cause a scene. Who's go Okay, who's gonna spearhead the conversation? I mean, how do we want it to go? Because <laughs> that's really gonna depend. We need. We need to get to our friends and family as quick as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Can you manage that? Yeah. I'm not very convincing anymore. Um, ever since I died, I'm just... Personality's a little weaker, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm, pl I'm, I'm, plenty, I'm plenty good at that, you know? And if I gotta bend the truth a little bit, then that's even better. Oh, good, good. Okay. Um... Brolin, what what are you going to do, bud? Sir, you're older well, than me. <laughs> I have no idea how we got here, what the hell we were riding in, how okay. she was even controlling it, where <laughs> you saw signs or any directions on which way you turn on any one of these freaking pathways. Mm-hmm. So... I think it's best if my commands are more simple, like point and point and click, you know, like you point and I'll click. Okay. Okay. So then what do I do? Flint, tell me right now, off the top of your head, what do I do? I mean, you just like stop sweating so much and don't look. <laughs> I can't, there. I told you it's a condition. I cannot help it. I know, I know. And we're all. I mean, I turn around. There's just sweat all over my back. Oh, <laughs> like, I can't help the this. Seats. Oh, the I can't seat help it. Was on. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, I was wondering why it was so hot. Yeah, we, Sin, you're gonna be okay. We're just gonna go with the flow, okay? We're gonna see what they. Right, have we usually say. go with the flow, and that's how we're here. So maybe we adjust our go with the flow attitude. But we, maybe we're supposed to be here. Look at it like that. As if it's fate. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. He did the thing. I feel All like right. I'm in a box. <laughs> Look, I mean, they have something we want. Let's, we don't have to roll with the flow. We go in and get it. And, you mm -hmm. know, maybe we do it by force. Maybe they took what we want because they want something from us. And so we got to find out what that is. And then, you know, we figure out what to do from there, depending on what that is. Okay. What do we have? I guess we got, we got nothing. You got smudgy. That's about it. The little traitor. He, well, we we're working through it. It's it's complicated. Well, just remember, last time I interacted with him, I punched him across the room. So, oh, and he... and we obviously like you guys. If I remember right, like the, you guys are like crazy awesome champions of this realm, right? So obviously we have the most firepower. Uh, like right, like we're gonna we're way overpowered with anyone we're gonna face. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, Definitely. we're just gonna walk in and they're gonna be so intimidated by our mere presence these, that they're just gonna be like, these, we need to step back. These yeah. guns, as you called them, are 
right like the best right light crossbows like crossbows that fire light and energy mm -hmm. um and projectiles we have regular bullets right anyways mm. um i'm not so good with guns so i'm not going to use one but flint's good with guns so Why she's going to use up so one many? Smudgy, I swear to Alel, I will throw you out the window while we're driving. No, you won't. <laughs> yeah, do whatever you have to do, Sindare. Just know that I'm here to protect Flint. And I'll actually protect Flint. Okay, that's it. I'm <laughs> killing an imp today. That's crazy. I didn't come into this day planning for that, but I, I will mean, do it. No, you're going to get blood or whatever's inside this creepy little dude all over my upholstery. And frankly, I don't want to deal with that. And Smudgy, all right. Yeah, you're, yeah, I'm putting you back in my good graces. And honestly, honestly, I'm loving the ferocity. I'm loving the energy that you're bringing. You're doing, you can't do anything wrong. Honestly, you're perfect. Cinder, you're, <laughs> you're on me? thin fucking ice. Okay. Yeah, no, for sure. Sure. Yeah, no, I'm the one that made the mistake. <laughs> as long as you admit it. I swear. If I had <laughs> magic right now, you would be paced. You would do nothing, Cinder. We put all the weapons in the trunk, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Brolin at this point is attempting to get access into the trunk from the back seat. I don't know what a car is. I don't know what kind of car it is. If it's possible, Hopefully I'm smart enough to figure it out. If it's not possible, I'm strong enough to figure it out. So I want to get into the weapons and start going through them and looking at them. Uh, really an investigation check. I think I'm good at that. Well, I'm going to do my flash of genius, which does something. Because it's been way too long. It's been way too long. It's been, a, it's been a while. It's 14 right now. Where is my flash of genius? Flash of genius. Sorry, guys. You better be trip. sorry. <laughs> You're slowing down our very slow D&D &D game. Oh, my God. It's so fast paced. It only takes us an hour to make a decision. Is that not this? <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck this demon thing. <laughs> maybe it's not yet. I'll maybe I don't get it yet. Huh. Interesting. Never mind. So that's a 14. <laughs> okay. Uh, you go to search and there doesn't seem to be like a lever or compartment thing that. Okay. Well, sorry, Flint's upholstery. I'm literally going to try to punch through it. <laughs> Roll a strength check? That's, yeah, sure. <laughs> That's a 21. Mm. As y'all are going back and forth, uh, not coming up with an actual solid plan, um, you hear a thug in the back. As you look and you see Brolin's fist just elbow deep in the upholster and kind of like ripping at it as he's pulling... The, uh, the back seat apart. Roland, where's your seatbelt? Roland, what are you doing? What are you doing? I had to get to the stuff back there. I need to look at it. I'm prepping. Buddy, buddy, that was the upholstery seat she was talking about. What the fuck is upholstery? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. No, they should really in. put breathe, like an entrance. Breathe. They should really breathe. make it easier through here. If you need like a stress toy, grab Smudgy's throat, you know? Just ring it out. He'll survive. Oh, I'm gonna use Brolin's once we get to our destination. Listen, you I get swear, what you need to get, and we're gonna get through what we need to get through, and then we're gonna have a serious talk, okay? I'm Remind me to... that uh if I ever get the chance to actually save Cinder to not do it and come to my senses. So I'll remember that. Cinder. <laughs> you and your little Flower pockets. I hope those win against fucking them trying to kill us. Mr. Grabs guns and isn't gonna I'm try, use I'm any. Trying, I'm trying to roll down the window. I'm trying to roll down the window. I'm rolling down the window. Is it a crank or is it a button? Flint, 
It's a button. What age is this? <laughs> Rolling down the window. I'm gonna try and grab Smudgy and throw him out the freaking window. Bye, bitch. And then him and Flint vanish. <laughs> the car is going like 80 miles an hour. <laughs> Brolin has no idea. <laughs> and they're just letting him ride for a good, like, ten seconds before he does anything. Oh, boy. Okay. Where did you go? Uh, Smudgy used his very limited magic to teleport her because he was upset and got his feelings hurt. And I grabbed the wheel. Well, and I try to like she's climb. still driving. They're just invisible. Oh! So you feel oh, hands did. on the steering wheel. <laughs> Sorry. Oh Sorry. No, I thought you were gone, Smudgy. I swear, I'm. You're dead. This car stops. You're dead. dead. I make empty promises. Uh. Hey, Flint. How about I protect you? Uh. Flint, have you ever been a warlock without a? Hmm. <laughs> You're about to find out in about 10 minutes. All right. All right. You two, honestly, we got we got bigger we got bigger things to fight, okay? Other than you guys fighting each other. Can we please just You got you know what? You guys can duke it out after this. I'll give you both a grenade. I got two and you can just play grenades as we used to call it back in the orphanage. That's Bet a dark, dark detail, dark detail. <laughs> Better yet, Cindy, I just imagine that, you know, when you go inside, they're all smudgies, and then you might actually, like, do something for a change. <gasps> Smudgy, that's actually really constructive. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was pretty you good. You just, like, envision it, and that's what's going to give you the gumption to go, and, you know? Yeah, but he's still going <laughs> to suck, but I'm just saying, you know. Oh, Gotta help Listen, where you can. We're pulling up. We're just gonna go in there. We're gonna <laughs> do our thing. It's gonna go great. I don't even know what you guys are stressed out about. We're gonna go. We're gonna save our friends and family. You two aren't gonna kill each other until after. And it's all gonna work out. Uh, while she's saying that, I'm sifting through the weapons. I'm trying to find... <laughs> the biggest most complex badass weapon that got thrown in that trunk i did put a flame yeah i was about to say i think the flame thrower is the winner for that okay cool i'm getting that i'm i'm taking the time to like as a tinkerer i don't know what you want me to roll i think i can tinker a check but like i'm going over it and make that like, trying to figure it out okay uh roll a intelligence check and then add your proficiency mod i like it I like it like that. I like it like that. I like oh it like boy. That. that is 25. Damn. Okay, okay. I'm a smarty. I'm a smarty. Pretty, pretty easy directions. It says uh, flame. <clears throat> it has uh, a kind of like crank position. Um, and it also has like a burst position on it as well. Oof. Turn this on in my car, I swear to God. I won't. I won't. But I, um, uh, <laughs> but I do take out like a kit, uh, because I sometimes have like that wire wick that I hang from my mouth. And so, like, I'm sitting here with a flint <laughs> and stone trying to spark up this, um, spark up the, the wick to put it in my mouth. It's a long wick. It doesn't like, it doesn't like burn. It kind of just sizzles. Sindare's head is out the window. He's trying to, he is, he is so angry. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I'm glad we're all in the right head space to do this and everything is going to be fine. Everyone. Are we? Do you think? <laughs> oh, right. That was okay. 
Uh, so what? Flint, you bring this vehicle in hot. It appears that it's not manned by anyone as it parks in the most illegal position possible, which is probably like the roof. Um, and as you uh, acquire the uh, equivalents of like a helicopter spot for a vehicle, um, you park it and hop out and all y'all see is the car stop, the door open, and then like shortly after the actual trunk open from its correct position and uh, other mutterings as Flint's gathering her tools, gear. Who bought a fucking flashbang? What are we gonna do with this? Uh, opening the door and getting out, I may accidentally have pushed it a little too far open. Okay. You hear like a scraping sound. <laughs> can't see oh, the no. I'm making. <laughs> this metal is super flimsy. How do they even do this? How can... This couldn't protect anything. Look, you, I could take my axe and... I'm, I don't hit it, but like I kind of like push it, and it like goes through the aluminum on the outside, and just like a like just like a little gash. You oh. just hear like a whimper. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you didn't pay a lot of gold for this, because this thing's a piece of shit. I mean, to be fair, I didn't pay shit for it because they stole it, so that's fine, I guess. Uh, perception checks. At advantage. Oh, hey. Oh, I forgot I have a negative for this. It's so fun to be back in this character. 20 for Brolin. I found the one good die. 11. Uh, natural 20, 24. Uh, so, Cinder and Brolin, you, your attention is peaked uh, as the advertisement signs around heat industries kind of uh represent themselves and you see uh, a man get displayed for a brief second before uh this woman's voice comes over be your perfect self today lucas hash wants you to acquire necessary cyber weaves to make yourself even better. Come to Huge Industries, and we will take care of you. And it kind of is out. this like a hologram? <laughs> yeah. Roland yells and starts running towards it, like axe up in the air. <laughs> Tonight we fight. Roland, Roland, no, that's not the real thing. They're right there. I thought we. No, were like that's it's fake. It's fake, buddy. Wait, why am I talking in a southern accent? <laughs> Gosh dang it, Stax, you blocked I knew it. Me. I knew it. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I've unlocked Southern this is gonna be really, uh, <laughs> Gosh. It's gonna really suck if you guys have to tell me everything that is like not real and real. Um Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Alright, I think we're all a little upset <laughs> right now. Um Roland, the way that you have handled and treated Lynn's car is not the appropriate way to handle such a thing. She just said she stole it. Right. But, I'm but very it still had I, to the things that Flint, I steal. Flint, please. They're my things. She's very attached to the things <laughs> that she steals. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll take. You know, if we get out of this with a little bit of time, I'll take a look at it. Maybe fix it up a little bit. I don't like the way you're moving your eyebrows at me, Brolin. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> he just wants to learn about future tech. Anyways, I freaking grab a spear, the Skyblinder staff, a knock on the top. Angel, are you there? Or are you still are you still cursed because Flint's around? Or I took off my cursed necklace. 
I don't know. Angel? <clears throat> All right. Can I, uh, real quick, a funny note that I had from the last episode. It says, verified angel, no bueno. And then an arrow back when Cinder drinks. <laughs> yeah, when I drink the vial. When you write the po yeah, and the next line is uh, magic potion that appears. But like, I, I didn't see that when I was studying for the episode. So I literally thought angel only works when you drink. <laughs> seemed, to, seemed right. Um, okay, so no angel still. Um, don't know why. Maybe if we can rescue the guardian, he can figure that out. Um, I grab a couple smoke grenades. Anyways, I'm ready to go. Roland has shield. He has a uh, Gal Galileo's shield, and the flamethrower on the back. Arm of the flamethrower in the other hand. Uh, big uh, long use kind of a uh, wick burning down his beard and flint has two grenades strapped to her belt um a small pistol strapped to her thigh and like a big like a uh, desert eagle magnum pistol she's fucking ready <laughs> for this y'all see this but just keep in mind that flint's invisible and the items aren't <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this! <laughs> so, as y'all oh, are boy. walking towards um, the kind of entryway point towards the top of this roof, uh, I need you all to make a deck save. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Oh, save? Situational Maybe. bonus. Wait, oh, it's the same thing. <gasps> oh, no. Nine! Uh, advantage for you because spongy <laughs> nine <laughs> 16 oh, no. okay okay 10 okay um failures no. <laughs> how, how Fails is all really around. the most agile of all of you like okay this is fine. it's actually really good because i'm not wearing my like heavy ass armor my power armor Oh, yeah, I am. Really I'm wearing the armor. Uh, you all take 14 points of damage as the door oh, explodes shit. and you hear <laughs> ringing in your ears and there's smoke and disarray of... Yep, as the thing lands on top of your vehicle, Flint, a uh, big piece of debris... And you look back over, ears still ringing for all of you, as three figures come out of the burning debris. Peppers. You see Nisea, you see the Guardian, and you see Pepper. <laughs> all eyes green, all eyes on you. And that's where we're going to take a break. Hi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Like epic, like Robocop, like or not Robocop, Terminator, different wrong, wrong robot, android, whatever you want to call him. I don't know. We'll be back here shortly. Go take a restroom break. Go take a a leave break. I don't know. We'll be back.
need y'all to roll initiative. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. You too, Colin. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> go, go, dice. Rolling so bad. Oh my god, I can understand why I started making dex based characters after playing Cinder. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I, didn't mean to do I rolled well. Quit hating Wait. On my boy. Um, does the negative three apply to the initiative rolls as well? Because it's an ability check, technically. Oh, are you exhausted? Yeah. No, I'm still recovering from being dead. Oh, are you like... <laughs> oh, are you like, do you have problems? Hey, Stax, I don't have access to Smudgy anymore. Are you running him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got okay. I gotta roll his initiative. Yeah, he blew a spell slot for no reason, but yeah, he's running him. <laughs> Smudgy got spell slots for days. He does <laughs> <not have spell laughs> he's like, I was about to say, he's got like hey, two. How about you stop pissing off the only magic user? And then he went after. Why has he got to be so petty? <clears throat> yeah, I have I have so many spell slots too, you guys. So don't even. Don't do you? I hate being a warlock. <laughs> Does your magic work here? <laughs> Fudging. I didn't know. I don't know. Beans. I don't think Maybe it does. does. Beans. Beans. Oh, beans. nuts. Oh, beans. Oh. Give it that. Give God. us that sweet bean footage beans roll that beautiful bean footage nice. i knew i didn't have it right but the heart was there that's what matters is hard uh 20 or higher nope um, well yeah no not 20 or higher Uh... Okay. Guardian. Oh, I was like, isn't there three? I was like, oh, Nisei is rolling her own initiative. Okay. Uh, 19 to 15. Um, does the negative three apply? Yes. <laughs> All right. Then never mind. It's gonna be fun. Welcome back, Cinder from the dead. Uh, fourteen to ten. Oh dear. Eleven. Eleven. <gasps> oh, it's Who's the most dexterous? Probably not me. I got plus three. I have plus zero. Okay. Uh, I rolled a fourteen. And the Saya. I sent it to you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> or are you just like... She rolled a natural 20 for a... I'm, okay, 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 okay. I'm a villain. <laughs> Sick. So, starting things off, um, Smudgy is going to uh, swap his initiative with Flint. Okay. So you get a 21 Ooh. instead of an 11. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. What's the plan? I wish someone loved me. <laughs> um, okay. Then I'm going to. Oh no. Yeah, the pressure. Yeah, the pressure. I'm going to. <clears throat> look forward and be like i'm so sorry and send a poison spray oh sh can i do spells why am i looking at the screen <laughs> <laughs> yeah no dude what? why are you looking at this freaking page where are we you? talked about this like two weeks. i know okay okay well then not even eldritch blast <laughs> definitely not eldritch blast but I wore the t-shirt. <laughs> oh. oh, beans. Okay, oh, well then, I take out my freaking gun and I shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna Technically, shoot. Technically, isn't that what Eldritch Blast is? Technically. It's just a gun. Technically. Technically, Technically. I'm 
going to shoot Pepper in the kneecap. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's hardcore. Do I okay. use Glinda stats? We're done. Yeah, you can. She's just a actual pistol now instead of a crossbow. Okay. Uh, 14 to hit? Uh, that misses. She got some skinny kneecaps. Okay. Oh, I do get two attacks with it for action, so I'm going to try to hit the other kneecap. Woohoo! Ha ha! 21 to hit. Yep, that hits. Miss. Oh. Woohoo! Ha ha! <laughs> what? Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, gosh. Mickey! So what is, is happening? That is going to be. an. 11. That's great. Oh, and I'm going to use as a bonus every action. time the thing where I can fire two extra smaller bolts out in a 15 radi- um, uh, foot radius to try to hit the other two. Okay. Um, and then that'll be a D4, so I gotta roll to hit. Okay. So for Nisea, it is a 11 to hit. Nope. <laughs> and for the Guardian, it is an 18 to hit. That hits. Okay, so then it'll be 1d4 plus 3. You shot <gasps> your own papa? I know. Papa, I'm so sorry. Take 6 damage. <laughs> Anything papa. else? Um, I guess I'm not invisible now. Yeah, you're definitely I'm... not invisible. Smudgy yeah, is, gonna... but you're not. I'm gonna do that. Just blam, 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 blam. And then I'm gonna... And then I'm just gonna be like, oh shit. And like... <laughs> Everyone else, so I'm like oh further God. behind. Okay. Uh, next up is uh, Pepper. Green eyed. She will look at all of you. Ah, there she is. And you watch as she sprints, jumps, flips. I shouldn't have made her so cool. <laughs> Lands. Like that story. And in the same swift movement, dagger to your uh, back calf flint. Here she goes. Ow! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Look how all the attacks have been aimed at the very the small fierceness. portion of the leg. What did you roll? 25. Yeah. Sebus. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, no, dog. Don't eat D4s. They're bad for you. <laughs> Uh, that is, uh, five points of damage, um, and she's going to try it again. 21 to hit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Seven points of damage. Good, 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 good. She'll flicker the, uh, daggers in hand and kind of, like, stand up next to you. You don't plan on hiding from me now, do you, darling? I wouldn't dream of it. Sick! Uh, next up is... Cinder. Uh, I look back at Flint. Uh, you good? You and Smudgy good? I just got stabbed in the back of the cab! What do you think? <laughs> okay, so it's... Smudgy, are you, you got her? Or you using your action to talk? What are you doing, Cinder? All right, <laughs> and I'm gonna run up to the guardian. And I'm gonna crack the Skyblinder staff, and I'm gonna hold it in one hand, and I'm gonna be like, "Thank you for the career opportunity." I'm gonna smack him in the head with it. Oh god! Okay, go. Oh boy. Uh. You're like a father to me. <laughs> Nine plus eight minus three. So 14 to hit. Misses. Okay, bonus action. <laughs> Swinging the blunt end towards him, even though they're both blunt ends, but you know, it's, Sorry, it's fine. I don't really. <laughs> All right, I rolled another nine. So 14 to hit again. No. <laughs> All right. We're doing uh, so whap, good, guys. Whap, and we're he's just so like, good. and then he blocks it with his pistol. Okay, so maybe good. this matchup isn't the best. Maybe this, maybe. Uh, 
and that's my turn. Nice. Uh, Nisea. <clears throat> so, uh, explain to me how the green eyes work. Like, does she still have a brain? <laughs> like, is she still yes. like- Yes. Uh, imagine your vision's like muddled. The peripherals <laughs> are kind of like darkened. And uh, all you kind of see is like targets. So anyone in this particular case that fits that description has like a green aura around them. And it just like makes your blood boil as you look at them. And it just happens to be your, your friends. Okay, so she can't be like, fuck you guys. Like, what the fuck? What are you doing? She wouldn't uh, be like... Not like, yet. She wouldn't have the werewolf all. Okay, a so... A what? You have a werewolf? Sorry, bad joke. A werewolf all? A werewolf? A werewolf. A werewolf. Um, a werewolf. A werewolf. Anyway, um... So yeah, like... She's gonna rage. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. First mm -hmm. off, she's gonna rage. Um, how far away are they from me? Everyone's, aside from Flint right now, because she's engaged with Pepper, uh, is within uh, your movement speed. Well, I'm like right next to her, right? Because I'm on the Guardian. Oh, yeah, you did run out. So, Cinder's yeah. closer. Oh, you're the closest to me? <laughs> yes. How okay. How convenient. convenient. <laughs> I wanted to hit you anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, okay. I'm just trying to... Oh, okay. Yeah. Watch me go down in this turn. <laughs> She's like, web, web, web. Web. <laughs> um, so there's this condition here in a, a Decisive Rage, which is like a special that I took oh, wait. on level five. Um, so it says, before you make an attack while raging with a melee weapon, that you're proficient oh, with. Yeah, you can, I gave you, you this can choose, bonus. Yeah. Woo! You can choose to add your athletics modifier to either the hit or extra damage dealt. <laughs> the extra damage is doubled on a critical. Uh, and you could do this a total equi uh, equal to your proficiency <laughs> That's modifier. so broken. I so did that uh, for actual enemies, but here we go. Cinder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up? Prepare yourself! <laughs> oh, I'm ready. Uh -oh. Now, are you adding it to your hit, or are you adding it to your damage? I'm gonna... Because you have to decide that before you roll. You know what? You know what you want to do. You okay. know what you want to do. I'm gonna add it to my damage. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Get it, Barbarian! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> if Sindare dies again... This is gonna be wild, guys! Alright, here we go. Oh, 20! <laughs> like, natural no, 20? No, 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 no. Just, no, it's a dirty. A dirty. It's a dirty 20. Oh, okay. That hits. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Alright, so that's... 17. Mm -hmm. And a D8. Oh, okay. 18. Okay. Damage? Damage. <laughs> Alright, next attack. Next attack, barbarian. Wait, I get two? Yes! You're level five! Oh, shit! Okay, I'm just gonna do a regular attack then. Okay. Y'all see that first hit connect into Cinder, <laughs> and it is solid. Like. Yeah, the next hit's a 13, though, so. The hit? Yeah. That misses. Okay, that's what I thought. She's just like, BAM! <laughs> what? She goes to try again and you have, I don't know if it's the wherewithal to duck or you just duck on the pain from the first Oh, hit. duck from pain, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
Oh, oh gosh. Man. It's the word of the night. Everybody's got to say it at least once. <laughs> uh, next up, is that is that all for you, Miss Saya? Oh, one more thing. I need yeah, you to make a sure. wisdom save. Oh. Me? Mm-hmm. Oh. Break free from your Roll high. Roll high. Or low. Right on the Or low. low. That's 17. a weird thing to say, Stax. Yeah. Okay. That first connect into the hit that you go with Sindare, you get kind of that polluting seeds of doubt of this is one of the guys that left you. This is one of the guys that's causing you to lose things. And you kind of like that that intensity kind of starts to build. Okay, uh, Brolin, no, uh, Flint is switched with Smudgy. So Smudgy is going to, uh, assist Flint. So he's gonna use the help action for his turn to give uh, Flint advantage on her next attack or other thing that she has to do on her turn, sort of thing. Whatever comes first. <laughs> then, Brolin, it's your turn. Would I have the wherewithal, this weapon, <laughs> word of the day, word yes! of the day. I love it. To understand, like, is it a cone? Is it a stream? I don't know. I, To be fair, I don't know anything about this weapon. But... Uh, the way it, uh, the, the mechanics of it, yeah. it kind of, like, bevels outward so you think if you activate it it's going to cone out if you had to guess I've never seen the guardian mm -hmm. so Correct. I'm gonna go right up to the guardian and like as I take I take the wick down and I press the trigger on the flamethrower and I try to light it as I'm walking up to him to pretty much blast him in the face uh, I need to know what is it set to? So you said there's a burst? There's a burst, and then there's the regular. I think the regular. Okay. Um, Tell me what to do. What it's going to be do? him having to make a save yeah. as it's essentially burning hands at the... Oh, here we go. Uh, second level. So second level. Buddy. That'll be four d six. Four d six. I have four d six right there. It says one because I always keep them max damage up. Wow, somebody's a little stitious. I am super. Uh, twelve. Okay. <laughs> you watch as much the guardian. <laughs> is flammable. Uh, you said 12? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, oh poor Flint. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Man, I'm winning all the trauma, points with Trick tonight. This is awesome. Is Flint seeing this? Or is she, like, preoccupied? Yeah, yeah, definitely got a bird's eye view, well, just like a view view of all the stuff that's happening. Like, she can see Cinder oh. getting fucked up. She can see oh, no. her, her fake dad getting flayed and yeah it's a it's a good time flambeed flambeed uh, uh guardian is uh he's going to take the disengage action and run away from me because i'm so scary oh yeah he's rolling nice scary you, isn't he he's yeah, gonna he is. try and punch you in the face all right There's a 21 hit. Yes. You take one point of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> okay. As your jaw gets reclocked. <laughs> hey, okay. That's funny. Yeah, get him. <laughs> <laughs> He's really like, ready for <laughs> <laughs> How old is this man? <laughs> he's, he's up there. No, I'm joking. He's in his 30s, late 30s. Uh, like, what? 
He's not a real dad. Is he a hot dad? I don't the know. Santa! <laughs> yes. This is the this is the story twist we need. I could be your mom. Ah! I could be your. Evil I could be your... <laughs> oh God! Back at guys, the top of the round. Guys, I'm guys, scared. Guys, uh, it is guys. Flint's turn because her initiative is switched. Great. <laughs> Nothing Great. happened. Um. I guess since Pepper is right there, um, I am going to. Well, I don't want to like. I want to hurt her head, but I don't want to shoot her in the head. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I have at my disposal. Um, clever with the back uh, of the gun. I can say you can flavor it to where it's like a pistol whip, but. Um, it would do the damage that the pistol would do, but not lethal. Love. Let's pistol whip it. Same. Okay. Fantastic. I um, just got the picture of, like, Flint in a suit, like, straight out of, uh... Oh, shit. Reservoir Dogs? No. Uh, Travolta and, uh, Samuel Pulp Jackson. Fiction? Pulp Fiction. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah, Flint and Pulp Fiction. I guess that's what I'm seeing right here. Absolutely. Um, 18 to hit. Yes, that hits. All right. Did you do that with advantage, or are you waiting? Oh, I I did not do that with advantage, but I'll... I get a second attack. Can I do that one with advantage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that would be eight points of damage. Okay. So I'm going to go one way and then go back the other way. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. This so scene, that... this whole thing is just... So silly. <laughs> That one was a fort. Oh, nice. Um, 22 to hit. Yep, that hits. Thank you for advantage, Smudgy. And that is six points of damage. Okay. So, eight plus six. Uh, pep peps don't look That's too hot. That's a strong ass pistol whip right there. That's. Um, yeah. Okay. It has some so stink on it. She's gonna get those two Business hits. Side. He gave uh, it a little else? shine before she. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I. Is that your Donald Duck impression? Gorge. Um. Rebel, rebel, rebel. I say, I say, I say. Ugh. No. No, that's it. Okay. I'm uh, just gonna stay right there, too. She's gonna try and mm -hmm. uh, stab you in the gut. Um, don't. Don't, don't no. do it. Don't do it. Does a dirty 20 hit? <laughs> what do you think happens, Stax? <laughs> <laughs> what is your AC, Four just points. so we all know? Like, let's 16. get it out. I know 16, yeah, okay. Is. I'm just being facetious. If only I had the where with I already did. How much did ah. you You already did it. You already did it. Yeah. How much did you say? Uh, four for that one. And then um, she's going to hit you again with a 18. So that will be another four points. Pepper seems like the real wild card here. She's like, she seems like scrappy as fuck. I mean, they grew Jesus. up in the orphanage. What do you? Yeah, I was about to I say. I made her so cool in my backstory. She's like a rabid squirrel. She's gonna. I forgot uh, to mention that she has, um, I, and I wrote it in my backstory. You just like didn't read between the lines, but she has seizures and she like passes out every. Um, oh, oh. Oh, okay. That was in the other oh, part that I forgot okay. to read. <laughs> so just um, so you know, like she's gonna like, she's narcoleptic. Oh, okay. She's gonna pass out here uh, in a second. <laughs> it hasn't kicked in yet, but <laughs> when she stabs you twice, you watch as she like whoosh, whoosh, cleans the blades and then goes back in a defensive stance. Because you know, you have to look cool while you have your friend's blood on your daggers. Um, next is <laughs> Cinder. <laughs> As your vision comes uh. back to you. Cinder's <laughs> uh. like, Brolin, you were supposed to be here. <laughs> okay. 
He's like what getting blocked in the face. So I'm like, axed. I'm holding, I'm kind of, I'm turning my attention towards Nisea, and I'm, I'm holding out my shield to like line her chain up with the bottom, with the front of my shield. And I'm just gonna take a swing right at her head. You're gonna try and fight. So there's like uh -huh, a guardian uh -huh, uh -huh. here, and then a angry barbarian, barbarian uh -huh. here. Uh huh. And you're going for the barbarian. Okay. Yep. Uh. <laughs> that's a that's an 18 to hit. Okay. You hit me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, max damage. So 11 points of damage. And what kind of damage is that? Bludgeoning. Regular old but wait, no, it's a magic weapon. But you don't have magic. Yeah, it still doesn't matter for a barbarian. Son of a gun! <laughs> Alright, yeah, no, so that's 11 points of bludgeoning damage, which you will then have. To five. <laughs> five. Alright. Well, you done and... did it. You done did it now! <laughs> you done, done activated done did the suplex. Anything yep. else? I'm just trying to be a problem. Yep, gonna bonus action, swing the other end around, crack her in the other side of the head. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, this is a way to get all the stress out. It's fine. Uh, another 18 to hit. Oh, okay. You got me, you got me. You got me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's always fun when the barbarian's like, oh, you hit me. Uh, that's five points of bludgeoning damage. Wow, that's so two? two? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm a problem, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I could do this all day. <laughs> and I'm just, all day, I'm just, son. All day. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at her with like, just about to black out, and I'm gonna be like, are you, are you sure you want to pick this fight? I'm sorry for leaving you. I thought you were gonna come with. All right. She just looks real mad. I don't know. You just, she's, she can't reason right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Anything else for your turn, Cinder? Uh, I'm gonna. Nope. That's it. <laughs> Nasea, it's your turn. Oh no. Oh, boy. no. <laughs> I didn't say anything on my turn. Can I say something now? I mean, as long as it's less than 10 words. Oh, it's it's not. <laughs> hey, girl, I'm right here. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> so like, she gets clonked like both directions. She's like, clonk, clonk. And she's just like, <laughs> she just, whips up her axe and she just like slams it into you. Are you um, doing decisive rage? Yeah. Oh! Kay. Are you doing it for the to hit or a damage? Uh, we're gonna do it for the damage again. Okay. Alright, alright. Okay, let's see. You Buddy. just got a hit. Shit! 13. That's a miss. <sighs> Miss. You feel the life flash before your eyes, Cinder, as this axe just misses you. That's another one. <sighs> well, that's a good friend. That's a good friend. <laughs> uh, she, so she's like doubly pissed that she missed the first time. And then she's gonna whip her axe back up in that same direction, like following the same arc. And she's gonna try to like hook you under the arm with it. Oh god! All right, all right. Um, so she's gonna just go for a straight hit this time. Okay. Uh, twenty-three. Yep, that hits. Okay. Oh damn, you got lucky. Uh, so eight points. Okay. Like I rolled a one. <laughs> so okay. Like... Oh gosh. All right. <clears throat> So, uh, a one on a d yeah, you you feel that one that definitely would have just been like lights out, and then another one just like sucker punch slash you 
uh, as it swoops up and cleaves at your chin jaw area. It's the same area that the guardian <clears throat> just punched. Um, she, she doesn't really show any recognition that she's like even heard Brolin. She is just like oh, on Cinder. Uh, mm -hmm. Does mm -hmm. Flint look all right? Flint looks. No, she's 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 pretty bloodied up. Uh, clutching at her stomach, probably. You're gonna watch as Smudgy uh casts invisibility on you again, but he becomes visible and he's gonna fly up in the air and uh pepper's gonna swipe at <gasps> oh what a good little boy that hits oh, everyone no. deserves a smudgy five to smudge what the smudge isn't bad uh it's not bad. but yeah he he flies up enough to clear space um brolin yeah <laughs> You are I, by the guardian who's by Cinder, who's by Messiah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm going to turn the nozzle of the um, flamethrower to Nisea. And I'm going to yell, hey, girl! And as I do that, I'm going to use my bonus action uh, with my shield master feet to shove Cinder five feet out of Nisea's reach and then continue my movement through to stand between them. Okay. So flamethrower to Nisea on, uh, just because I'm a fucking tinkerer and curiosity is always gonna get the best. Of me. Uh, let's go that burst mode. Nice. Uh, you have effectively doubled your damage. So, uh, 8d6. But she has to she make, gets to make a, a roll, though. dex save. Yeah, dex save for the save. Does it have to be dex? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It can't be athletics? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just stand there and the flames go around me. Okay. I got a 16. Okay, uh... To make it easy, we'd use your spell casting modifier, Brolin. My spell casting modifier? Or, uh. Like his spell save? save? Yeah, your spell save DC. 15. What did you roll? 16. Okay, so she would take half. Half damage. So half of 36 is 18. Oh, goddamn. Oh, god. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> You see an intense more amount of flame come out of the tip of this uh, flamethrower and the heat just from holding it, it's getting hot. Noted. Uh, anything else? But did it change the, the like directionality or the lit, like, did it change anything the way the flame came out or it just is hot now? Uh... It's almost like there is more fire that bursted out from it, but it was like the same kind of cone slash radius area. Gotcha. That's what, yeah. That's what I'm uh, and I'm good because that's the action bonus action movement. Guardian's going to realize that Cinder is pushed out of the way. Um, and... He will shoot Brolin at this bit. <laughs> okay, that's 14. No. No. That's nah. Just a pew. Uh, Better than them damn automobile plating. He is going to spell casting bonus, bonus, bonus. Hmm. 
Okay, yeah, he's going to stand there. Uh, and it is Flint's go. Okay. Oh, wait. Nisea, make a wisdom save. Come on, Nisea. Shit. Let's see. I, I know something we need to do. Another 17. Okay. Um, you get a flash of you and Brolin hanging out at just like a local tavern, just how you normally do. And then the scene shifts and it's you sat with an empty mug and you look and Brolin's walking out of the tavern with Cinder and Flint and the door closes behind you or behind them. <clears throat> Flint, it's your go. <laughs> Okay, I am currently invisible. Yes. Can I? Oh God, I'm so bad at perception. Does it feel like, can I use like Arcana to see if like a, I can detect some kind of source of this control that they have over them or anything like that? Uh, Yeah, you could try and see if there's any type of connecting factor that is propelling them forward to kind of be brainwashed as they are with the uh, arcana 15 um as you're invisible you're looking around and things are kind of like going in slow motion and you're trying to see like what's the connecting factor like are they moving in a similar fashion? Uh, and then off in the distance, you see a small halfling woman kind of standing near uh, where Nasea, Guardian, and Pepper came out. She has some kind of like contraption in hand. She, How far away is she? Uh, she's about 50 feet, give or take. And, I'm gonna use, oh, sorry. I'm going to use my 30 feet of movement to get as close as possible. Still be, trying to be really quiet since I'm, like, invisible. And then if I can get a look at what is she's holding i'm going to shoot it out of her hands okay um pepper doesn't have her reaction back so you're able to get out of her range with no problem and you like ease closer uh roll me a perception check oh. <laughs> okay i'm gonna use my dark one's luck ability to, I don't think I've used this yet, um, cause it's new. Cool name, bro. Cool name. <laughs> I could add. Oh, I can only add a D10, but let's see what I can do. I really want to do this. <sighs> Five. Total. Yeah. What the fuck are you rolling? I rolled you... a three, and then I rolled a two to add to it. Hey, your perception's plus zero? It's minus one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's why I got so close. So, uh, you It's can't, character, though. It, it really works for you. You can't make it out, but you do see that there's some type of, like, uh, crystallized thing in a contraption, and there's a bunch of, like, green fluid pushing through it. Can I see well enough to aim at it? I mean, you tell me. <laughs> I think so. She's within my range. I'm gonna, I don't understand what the fuck it is, but I'm gonna shoot it. Okay. It's like, <laughs> um, okay. 17 to hit. Okay, mm. roll damage. Nine. I would probably uh, go ahead and unload both my shots right at it. <clears throat> okay, roll, roll again. Just like rapid fire. 24 for the second one. 
Oh, that was a nat 20! That was a nat 20! Ooh! Hell yeah. So max damage and then roll again. Okay. So, okay. So it's nine of that. Nine and then... Wait, it rolled 2d6 because it... Oh, it automatically rolled 2d6 because it's... I'm running it. Okay. Okay. So we do it max and then another one, though. Yeah. Okay. So let me... <laughs> but that was max. So 10 to 20. 20? So, so all together, the first... Yes. Um, You invisibly... Uh, get closer and you don't know like what it is or what it is but it it, it fits enough to where you think it might have any, some type of connection to what's happening to your friends and you just like fire two rounds at it and the first bullet escapes invisibly uh from you because uh you're you're invisible at the time and by time you let loose the second shot the the glimmer unsheens from you and your invisibility drops but both of those bullets <laughs> connect into the side of the the fixture that uh that person was carrying and it shatters and this small shock wave of energy erupts and again everything's going slowly And you watch as Nisea's eyes, Pepper's eyes, Guardian's eyes revert back to their normal hues. And I need you all to make deck saves. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I missed some last time, but I'm doing it this time. Where is it? I get to add some. I get to add my intelligence modifier if I want to. <clears throat> I that right there is the spot. That was all of us, not just the people coming yeah, out. Yeah, all of us, sorry. You're good at 11. This Dex. Yeah, yeah. Go flying. <laughs> Seven. Oh, no. Jacob's face. Seven. I can always tell. <laughs> My boy about to get fucked up. <laughs> Seventeen. Okay. Nisea. Oh. Uh. Did I say nine? Did I say nine? Where is it? Where's my? Where's my sheet? And yeah, I got a nine. Okay. Um. The DC was 15. Oh no! Uh, if you didn't make it, you all take 10 points of bludgeoning damage. And then. Uh, five points of force damage. And then that is halved to five and two if you got higher. Not me. I throw my shield in front of it and block all the damage. Okay. I look, I'm looking so rough right it's now. It's my reaction. Since uh, it's bludgeoning, do I still take half because yeah, I'm yeah, flinching? Yeah. Okay. You only take the, the full force if you <clears throat> failed and then half force if you succeed. Okay. Uh, Sindare, how do you look? Unconscious. No! So again- I mean, it's probably for the best. <laughs> All of this is happening in slow motion for you mostly, Flint, because the others weren't expecting it. But that pulse and it almost like sucks back in afterwards. And as you're trying to uh, collect your thoughts, you just see Cinder's body falling off the side of the building. Oh, that's not. That's not for the best. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's God. Not good. Smudgy, can you get him? <laughs> <laughs> he has wings! 
Oh. Is anybody <laughs> else doing anything? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, okay. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. Uh. I pretty close to him. I feel like I would try to to reach for him. Okay, uh, make me a. Uh, we'll go with uh, athletics check. See if you can get there in time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's an eighteen. No, eighteen. Nice. Um, you, uh, run over after you block all of that energy, Brolin, and you grab Cinder, uh, and his body is, like, half hanging over the side. I pull him uh, back onto the roof. So there's a thing here. You have a shield. I have a shield. You have a flamethrower. Yeah. Which would have dropped? The flamethrower handle, right? Because it's like a backpack, so like the handle so, can like okay. dangle. Yeah. So you're holding on uh, to him with that. Now the force from what is happening is pulling you closer to the edge, uh, and you're kind of like almost dangling over the side as you're trying to get good grasp of Cinder, which you Can realize. I run that way to study them too? Sure? You're so strong. You're so, so strong. strong. What do I need to roll? Uh, deck, so acrobatics. Fourteen? So as you're trying to get Cinder back up, you feel Flint's hands come out and like try and also reach. Uh, Cinder, I need you to make me a D100 roll. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, so the one with the tens on it, that's the first number. And then the D10 is the second number? Correct. Okay. You just want to make sure. Zero, but you can okay. roll a 100. If it's all zeros, it's 100. Yes. 46. Um. As this is happening, you hear a... A what? A snap. Okay. <laughs> as Cinder's shirt, his fucking... Granddad special butterfly oh, flower patch kids shirt rips and his body whoosh, starts to tumble down. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> oh no, I don't mean to laugh at your misfortune. Holy <laughs> shit, you're gonna die again. <laughs> for Flint and Brolin. Do I need to roll a death save? Not yet. Your body has to hit the ground. How, how You're far like is this going? You're like through space. How far up are we? Y'all are at the top of the roof of a building for the Heej Industries. I imagine it's a tall building. Well, like, this is okay. Well, like, has six seconds passed? Uh. Mm, actually, yes. Roll me your first death save. You got it. And then you got it, it to buddy. Because I, for, I remember <laughs> oh, no. we do that here. I got a six on my perception. I got a 21. <laughs> what are you doing with your eyes, Flint? Not the right thing. Are you thing. in my shock? My perception is so bad. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. What'd you get? So as Cinder's body starts to fall, what did you roll, Brolin? Please tell me it was higher 21. than a fucking two. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. You see a, a, a blur. 21. A blur oh. almost. Maybe that's uh, why Flint didn't see it. But a blur swoops down and snags Cinder. And as it connects, you see a very large winged creature grabbing onto the, the limp body of your friend. And you look and you think. 
and it's a huge smudgy. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be real hard for you, Cinder. Oh, <laughs> That's hilarious. My and boy. he comes up and lands, setting Cinder's body back down. He and his like, body, like, gently, <laughs> lovingly, just distorts and shrinks back down to his normal Aww. smudgy size. <laughs> what a strong little man. <laughs> smudgy! You're like, you was like, small as fuck for a minute. Yeah, I, I figured, uh,. I can't make fun of him if he's dead again, so, like, at least I can rub it in his face. There you go. He is so noble. <laughs> but he still might die. I mean, we might need to do something. <laughs> oh, right. right. Um, is combat know? over? Yeah, but still, yeah. since he's making death saves, uh, I'll give you all a chance to try and do something here before Medicine check. Okay. Uh, Brolin's going to run over, check his vitals. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at what the cool things that I can do. No, that's a saving throw. Uh, nope. Damn. Okay. This is pretty straight up. Straight up now tell me. Are you really going to love me? For 18 you medicine love... checks. We definitely sang this song the last time. I do it a lot. <laughs> yeah. I do it a lot. Look. Um, I am a man and of... hit and burn. Brolin, you're <laughs> fairly certain that you have stabilized his vitals. If anything, you just think the, the the blunt trauma from being knocked off the side is the more of the damage, not the actual physical repercussion that he served from that shockwave. Uh, but roll me a d4. Four. Nice. Yay! Uh, if all goes well, he should wake up in four hours. Oh, oh. <laughs> you tricked us. <laughs> that's, that's, trick that's how it works. works. He's, he's not yet. he's not bleeding anymore. He'll he'll be okay. Giant gash in my shoulder from Nisea. <laughs> not bleeding anymore. <laughs> what, what what where are we? Oh, yeah, there was this whole thing. Your like mind was all fucked up. You stabbed me like a lot, by the way. <laughs> um, oh, you were on fire, and Ness, you like, you really gave it to Sen. He's gonna be pretty grumpy when he finally comes back too. But um, not to say it wasn't deserved. He was hit right. too. But uh, yeah, there's this whole thing going on with Hege, and like, it's bad news. Look. Uh it's gonna come down to the, like the the last couple hours have been crazy for everyone. So let's just focus on what's happening next. We need we need to get back home. Nasea is gonna like walk straight up to Brolin and punch him in the face. Who could have guessed? <laughs> None of us. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Everything happened so fast. Oh, oh, honey, honey. I got an at 20 on that punch. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, you hit. You hit me. <laughs> Actually, though, you know what? Unfortunately, my AC is a 22. Do you have a 22 with you? Yeah, you do. 28, <laughs> honey. <laughs> so that's what? Uh, 12 damage? With <laughs> is that like... Is that double the like, Is It's that max and then that rolled again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, what if this knocks out Just takes Brolin, Brolin out? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a 12, it's a 12. No, okay. I'm good, okay. I'm good. <laughs> I'll put it in here though, just so we keep track of it. Tell me I drew okay. a little blood. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, oh. I'll change this. Yeah, I knew, okay. But what, what home were you referring to? You know, when you left, we don't have a home anymore, Brolin. It's because of you and because of him. And she points over at Cinder's little unconscious body. Little? <laughs> He's six foot. She's still gonna call him a little bit. 
That's, think, that's big barbarian energy. Strong boy. <laughs> you think this is what I wanted? You think I wanted to be here now? You think I wanted to come here? Look around. We're on a fucking structure. Hundreds of feet in the air, as far as I can tell. Where the fuck are we? I don't know anything about this place. Then why'd you come here? I didn't have a choice. Why did he come here? I'm gonna look over to Flint. <gasps> oh. Well... Listen, I, people were in danger. I mean, the Guardian, Peps, the, you guys were in danger. And Ness, I'm sorry that you were also in danger, but if we hadn't been here, we couldn't have saved you, and we couldn't have saved them. So, you know, the in truth, the end... We don't know how this is all connected. We got sent here, you were still there, yet now we're all here. It's all connected. We didn't try to leave. We just got separated. I don't think it's that simple, Brolin. You left. For whatever reason. Against your will. Whatever. But you're still defending them. I'm not defending them. I'm just saying, with this... Our entire world is destroyed. They knew what happens. They knew what happens. It's their technology. They knew what happened. I think you're giving us way too much credit. Maybe it's I not... have been the entire time. I should never... The fact is, we should never have done any of this. Maybe if we never came on this adventure, when did Born we make a choice? There. We never we all made make a choice. Choices. We, we make all choices make every choices. day, but we didn't make this choice. We didn't make this choice to be end up here. Maybe you didn't. I certainly didn't. There's nothing you can say to me that's going to make up for the fact that you have destroyed everything that I have ever loved. Everything. Go ahead, try. You're not the only one that left something behind and he's gonna turn and walk away. Wherever I can walk, it's we're on a the ceiling of we're on the roof of skyscraper, so I'm just Going dramatically gonna the walk debris a little bit away. Encrusted uh -huh. vehicle. <laughs> Flint is doing that thing where you like balance and go up on your toes and your heels. Ooh, trouble in paradise, huh? Now the trouble, the trouble is Brolin, and she's just kind of talking to him as he's walking away. You try to rationalize these things. I feel like you should be more angry. You lost things too. You're right. I don't understand. I, did we lose it? Is it gone? I have no idea. Apparently these guys came from the future. Time is nothing that can just be reset and changed in any whim of something. I have no idea what's real and what's fake anymore. You, you say we lost it, but what part did we play in it? Would it have been lost without us, with us? I just don't get it. And that frustrates me. I don't like things I don't get. And you're right, I try to rationalize it, but it's not just for me. I'm trying to like keep some shit together here because we have no perspective. We're in the future. You, how did you get here? You don't know. How did we get here? I have no fucking clue. I remember one thing. This one. 
and she's just gonna point over at Flint. She's like, she's like so mad that she's not even like using nominals. She's just like, this one. Her father. The one that she was looking for for so long. He has a part in this. He came up out of the ground. He killed Nadir. He killed Sir Derek. Oh, and by the way, he doesn't give a shit about you. He was using you. You gave him the amulet, and now our world's destroyed. Oh, okay, we're all saying a lot of hurtful things whoa, 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 we whoa, don't whoa, whoa. mean. Whoa, 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 hold on. Hold on. In you said you said he was locked up. He was locked up last He's night. Not. He was locked up. Not anymore. He's out. He crawled out of that dark little pit. Nasea's right. Smudgy. What? You know? Us imps don't... We're not as fortunate as all you that can just speak what you wants. What's he gonna do? He said. He told me what he was gonna do. He said, and I quote, I'm going to make a hellscape. He said he was going to start with the crater that was once Dawn. So, add salt to the wound. And you saw this, and then, and then what? Oh. And she's like having trouble. She's, like, she's kind of like having trouble remembering, but. Well, <clears throat> remember that dream I had about my mother? Yeah. She came out of the darkness. It was like it split open for her. And she appeared right in front of me. And she had those fiery green eyes like in my dreams and that's all I really remember apart from you know our fucking world being destroyed and then you were here Um, yes, and then I punched you in the face. Yeah. The I remember last thing, that part. You're the, the latest thing that I remember. So, why is it that the past is being destroyed and right now, it seems like everything's alright here? Apart from, you know... Him, I guess. And she like motions over at Cinder. Um Flint goes and closes his eyes. <laughs> 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 He's just like pokes the tongue back into his mouth. <laughs> oh my god. I just that's the missing piece. It's got like I the prof the dreams, the visions, they all kind of came to fruition. But what is the future? What, what, why are we here? What, what why, brought everything here? Why did they need us? Why did they need you? Why did they turn you? I mean, we have more answers to get to. You're saying everything's fine here. It's very much not. Things are fucked up everywhere. And Ness, I'm sorry that your home is a crater, honest to God. But... I, things are a mess in every world that we have a foot in and I know that time messed up a lot of things but it might be a way to fix it too so whatever we can fix we will and whatever we'll pick up from the pieces we will but no one hurt you on purpose 
We wouldn't. I'm sorry my dad's an asshole, but you really shouldn't say he doesn't care about me because I know that he does. Because, you know, that's a whole thing. But, you know, that's fine. Flint. You're just saying a lot of things right now. Flint. And I understand Flint. you're angry, but you don't need it. <laughs> if we're going to continue helping one another, trying to fix things, then you have to accept that what I'm telling you is reality. Your father thinks that you are useless. He said, at least she was useful for something, which was bringing him the amulet and setting him free. He said he was helping me though. He no, said he he'd take it off because it was dangerous. And he lied. Do you think it's really, do you think it's really beyond a demon of his caliber? Watch it. <laughs> if we're being honest. Arch demon. If Just we're being something honest. has horns and cloven hooves doesn't mean it's bad. I mean, look at Smudgy. He just saved Cinder's life. It, stop chewing on him, okay? He's unconscious already. Anyway. The I... only father that you really have, the only father that you really have worth anything is this guy over here. And she like points over at the, the guardian. <laughs> yeah, what's he doing? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, him and Pepper are kind of like looking out as y'all are uh, talking, discussing. Uh, he looks back over. From the sound of it, they needed to complete the loop. Time works in kind of a circular pattern. The events that take place in the past when they get changed don't fully manifest unless you complete the loop. Are we just like overhearing them? Uh, he's between, talking to, like, talking to all us all now. All y'all. Because we, yeah, I put the attention towards him. Yeah. So, us, oh, they needed us to come back to. Oh. Yes. So, as you're saying, maybe time is how we fix things. Maybe we can complete some kind of loop to help us get things right? back. Maybe you leave in the past and then you going back is its own loop. That's reasonable. I'm sure Cinder's in one of his own crazy ass loops with his parents and uncle and Lord knows what. Yeah, he's got a lot of toxic like cycles to break. I hope he's working with someone to do that. <laughs> He's just like knocked out on the ground. <laughs> oh, poor. Oh, Sin. <laughs> we'll get him through. Oh, did he move a little? No, that's just. I love that. Smudgy's like, just burying <laughs> under him again. <laughs> nice vein <fame> death. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I don't know exactly what y'all's plan is currently, but whatever it is, you need to make up your minds now because it looks like trouble's headed our way. And she kind of points out, looking over at you, Flint, and you see just uh, a flood of um, the equivalent of flying police cars headed towards the burning top of the Heej industry building. Oh, that's so pretty. What are those things? Oh, shit. All right. Um, hey, it's a parade. They're coming to celebrate. We us. should prop. We should go back to the headquarters and lay low for a while. Um, oh, they're flying in the okay, air. Okay, I have one vehicle, but maybe we could get another, and everyone can hop in. We should go. I know we can outrun them. We should go. I don't believe your vehicle's going to work, uh, Flint. And he what? like looks over at your car and it has like a no. giant piece of debris in it. No! <laughs> uh, 
Oh, no. <laughs> I can get us out of here. Yeah? Yeah, I might have to, like, grab a couple of yours, but, uh, we should be able to. You take us back to the headquarters? Or... Is that where we just were? Yeah, the, where we got all the where where we got all those grenades and everything. The wherewithal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you have Werewolf. the wherewithal to get us there, that'd be great. Uh, and you watch, and he he grunts a bit, and you watch as Smudgy just gets whoosh, bigger and bigger and bigger until he's like huge sized again. Oh, you're doing it this way. Oh. Why wasn't he able to do this before? My connections to Flint. <laughs> I you said I'd protect her. Oh, you sound hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably go though, because I can't. Oh hold yeah, no, we, we got it. They, they, if they find me, I'm in a lot of trouble. I got a lot of wards. Okay. <laughs> Girls, same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as y'all kind of. Get on the back of very huge smudgy. I just imagine he like scrapes up Cinder's like, limp body. <laughs> just, just, we have you splayed on the Danny DeVito belly, <laughs> just like resting across the belly. Like, <laughs> Y'all fly like, off. Lord of the Rings and the Eagles just. Before the police arrive, and that's where we're gonna end it. Uh, oh, guys, it's so good to be back. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, real great. Oh. The future is wild. It's cool to just in there. Report it. I didn't expect that I would be going for you, Cinder, but you know. Oh, I was intentionally trying to make it to where you oh, went after so me. Win. When, oh, when in so Rome. <laughs> when in Rome. That's exactly why I was like, I'm technically closest, right? Yeah. Oh, there's one more if thing. Um, oh, everybody yeah, you, you is <laughs> uh, leveling up today, so oh shit! You gotta Son? prepare y'all for the end. Oh, yeah, I know for the end. Yeah, that makes sense. Damn. Oh, shit. Yeah, that Damn. adds. That adds up. That adds uh, up. I'll roll HP. Oh god! <laughs> I'm dying. I am sorry. Hey. It's just the roll dread. high HP, people. I mean, it's just the dread. roll like your life depends on it. Oh, are we doing that now, live? Or are we doing that at the top of the next game? Uh, we could do it. Come on, I just rolled and I freaking, I rolled three. Uh, oh gosh. You know what? We'll roll at the top of the next game. Okay, okay. <laughs> Because I feel okay. like my boy Sindar needs like needs just it. a mini rest. He needs just it. <laughs> something. So, yep, we will see y'all in two weeks as we two weeks finish off with the nine remaining episodes. It's gonna not be six months. No, two no, weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Definitely. Two weeks for sure. This time, for not this, yeah, sure. not for not. Me. We're yeah. saying two weeks, and then we're back in another six yeah, months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I want the show to keep going, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My abandonment issues can't. <laughs> too much. Uh, oh, it's a joke, too but much. it's not. Tell <laughs> me about it. Tell me about it. It's that bit of comedy least, that's laced in reality. At least we know. Like, it's not a poor, surprise poor thing. Uh, she, uh, she's going to have, like, the worst fucking. <laughs> I'm so mad that I couldn't be there for that. Con I'm so mad I was unconscious. It's great. I was have to dying. Have it again, when you wake up. Uh, Yay. It'll be exactly the same. We will see you all the next time as I continue to turn the emotional trauma knobs. Trauma knobs. <laughs> trauma knobs. It's like a wheel. Nope. Nope, Multiple Colin. Wheels. Nope. What the hell, man? <laughs> oh, yes! Does everything have to be a dirty joke? <laughs> yes. Would it be fate without it? Okay. We'll see you all the next time. Okay, bye. Stop touching. I can't wait till one of y'all get the track. Sayonara.